better strap yourself in. It's time for the Howie Carr Show. She couldn't even pass her bar exam in Washington, D.C. She failed it. The single weapon that she's got is the media. Without the mainstream media, she wouldn't even be here, folks. Live from an undisclosed location. The violence has many roots. Housing, health care, poverty. But certainly, it has the tool, and that is guns. That is automatic weapons, like AK-47s and others more sophisticated. Unchained and unstoppable. Who's your favorite foreign leader? Who's my favorite? Any, just name anywhere in the country, any one of the continents, any country. Name one foreign leader that you respect and look up to. Anybody. I was Shimon Peres. No, no, okay, I'm talking about living. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do this anywhere, any continent. Canada, Mexico, Europe, over there, uh, Asia, South America, Africa, name a foreign leader that you respect. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment. Who do you love? Howie Carr. I've been out from June 16th. It's been full time. All the time. You see all the days off that Hillary takes? Day off. Day off. Day off. All those day off. And then she can't even make it to her car. Isn't it tough? Rump swabs, hacks, and moon bats beware. It's Howie Carr. one 844 500 That's the toll-free number of the Howie Carr Show. If you'd like to join us here this afternoon, every weekday afternoon, call up the General Communications listener line. And uh, Donald Trump has finished his speech in Bedford, New Hampshire. Hope to hear from him. I don't know if we will. Probably not. But uh, we've, we've put in the call. like to like to hear from uh, Donald Trump. And uh, he just, uh, you know, uh, excoriated uh, Hillary Clinton again. A lot of people are saying uh, he should, uh, people are texting into the show at 680, 680, saying uh, he ought to uh, blow off the, the, uh, the next, the last two debates. He's not going to do that. He'll, he'll, he'll do better in the, uh, the debates. I mean, he, he didn't do particularly well, but the polls haven't uh, changed very much. I don't think he lost any votes. And uh, I, he, he has to, he has to take part in the, the debate. I don't think there's any way around that. So anyway, we're you're, we're talking about the, the Wells Fargo hearings. Uh, as you know, uh, Wells Fargo has been caught. Uh, they've had to pay fines of a hundred and eighty-five million dollars to various uh, government entities. They were uh, setting up uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of fake accounts, unbeknownst to their customers. Like uh, you know, if you had a if you had a savings account at uh, Wells Fargo, or you had your Wells Fargo had the mortgage on your house, they would uh, they they would have their uh, low-level workers who were under a lot of pressure to open new accounts that would uh, generate income for the bank. They would uh, they they would open the accounts without you knowing about it, and they would just be hoping that uh, you, you know you wouldn't bother to look at your statement, or you wouldn't look at it very carefully every month, and you wouldn't notice that suddenly you had this new Visa card that you were being charged $5 a month for, $10 a month for, and then they would open a, a savings account uh, with no money in it. And so, of course, you'd fallen below the uh, threshold, so they'd charge you another 10 bucks or 5 bucks a month. And you know, and just hoping that they were going to nickel and dime you. And this is this is a uh, th- this is the way why people uh, why businesses want to get you set up to uh, automatically uh, buy a service every month. They hope that you know whether it's the gym, or uh, or, or whether it's uh, buying a podcast or a- anything really. And uh, they, they want to just get you uh, get get you. Uh, allowing them the business to to remove a certain amount of money every month automatically which you know and if, and if you uh, stop going to the gym and you uh, never notice that you're still paying 70 or 100 bucks a month or or you uh, you, you know you you uh, don't don't use the uh, satellite uh, TV service 
it, it, that's your fault because you ordered it. But this is a this is a whole different level. If they if they suddenly uh, decide to open these accounts and you don't know they open the accounts, that's why they paid 185 million dollars in fines. So now these these people have been going up to uh, the 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 uh, bosses of uh, Wells Fargo. This guy named John Stumpf, especially he's the CEO. He's leaving and he's giving back uh, because he's been caught with his hand in the cookie jar here. Uh, it's been he's he's known at least since 2013 this was going on yet he still continues to, I believe he made 19 million dollars last year for uh, pres- presiding over this uh, racket and uh, so now he's going to give back 41 million dollars but he's still walking away with uh, about close to 80 million dollars so he's getting uh, he's getting uh, really uh, bludgeoned today up on uh, Capitol Hill and while he was getting Yesterday it was the Senate, and uh, with uh, Elizabeth Warren was going nuts on him. I mean, uh, well, we'll get to that in a moment. But as he was being uh, as he was being grilled and uh, yelled at today by members of the House, uh, Bloomberg was reporting that there's another scandal now that is uh, that, that is beginning to uh, be uncovered involving Wells Fargo. Uh, this I'm reading now from the Bloomberg story that just moved a couple hours ago. Wells Fargo, reeling from weeks of pummeling over fraudulent customer accounts, is now facing a new Justice Department sanction over improperly repossessing cars owned by members of the military, according to two people with knowledge of the investigation. A penalty of as much as $20 million is expected from the OCC. That's the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency. So now, on top of the $185 million fine that they have for setting up these hundreds of thousands of accounts, uh, to rip people off. Now they're going to be fined another $20 million for uh, illegally repossessing homes of, uh, uh, excuse me, cars of people in the, in the military. So this is a really, this is really a nice group of people. And again, they're all Democrats, all Democrats, top to bottom. And the, uh, the, 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 uh, the big Democrat in the, uh, in, in Wells Fargo is Warren Buffett. You know, Warren Buffett, he's a, he's a Hillary person. He wants higher taxes on everybody. Uh, well, he say he claims he wants higher taxes on everybody. He's written these uh, op-ed pieces for the Wall Street Journal saying it's really a national scandal that my secretary pays a, a higher percentage of her income in taxes than I do. And this is this at, at the same time he doesn't mention in the op-ed piece that uh, he's uh, he's he's fighting a uh, a lawsuit because the feds claim that he owes uh, his companies uh, Berkshire Hathaway is the holding company for all these. Uh, Wells Fargo, Dairy Queen, Coke, bunch of newspapers, et cetera, et cetera. He, he's, uh, they, the government claims he owes more than a billion, and he claims he doesn't owe a billion. So he, he, t- he talks out of one side of his mouth, and, well, you know, he, does, he talks the talk, but he doesn't walk the walk. What Another big surprise, right? He's a, he's a Democrat. He's a Democrat. So anyway, I, uh, I've been debating all morning whether or not to play these sound cuts from Elizabeth Warren. But people, some people uh, say they want them. This is Elizabeth Warren, the fake Indian. She's a ta- she. You know, again, <laughs> savor savor the hypocrisy here. Elizabeth Warren, the fake Indian, is accusing someone else of fraudulent activity here. And it, finally, I decided, okay, these are good. This is this. These are good sound cuts on several different levels, but they're basically going to drive you nuts knowing what a complete fraud this woman is. However, this sets me up to become the hero because after about 30 seconds, I'm going to start yelling at Steve, cut that woman off. I can't take it anymore. It's enough to make me feel sympathetic for this thief that's running Wells Fargo. So that's my scenario for the next minute or so. Have you returned one nickel of the millions of dollars that you were paid while this scam was going on? The, the board will take care Have of that. Have you returned one nickel of the money you earned while this scam was going on? And, and the board will do I will that. take that as a no then. So you haven't resigned. You haven't returned a single nickel of your personal earnings. You haven't fired a single senior executive. Instead, evidently, your definition of accountable is to push the blame to your low-level employees who don't have the money for a fancy PR firm to defend themselves. It's gutless leadership. And when it all blew up, you kept your job, you kept your multi-million dollar bonuses, and you went on television 
to blame thousands of $12 an hour employees who were just trying to meet cross-sell quotas that made you rich. This is about accountability. You should resign. Stop it. I can't stand it anymore. Stop it. This woman's a fraud. She checked the box. You You checked the box, you fake Indian, and you got a $350,000 a year job for doing absolutely nothing. Who the hell? uh, This is the one person in America, perhaps, or one of about five people in America with Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and a couple others who could actually make Stump appear to be a sympathetic figure. And that's it, though. So let's. I, I, do we have some cuts from uh, this this morning at the at the in the House hearing? Because we we have some people who were uh, who were angry, who are who are somewhat less loathsome than uh, than than the fake Indian. Go okay, This is Greg Meeks. He's a black guy from Queens. Of 16, 53 million in October of fifteen. Four million in June of fifteen. Another twenty four million in January of fifteen. Five million in September of fourteen. I mean, and I can go on and on, $869 million in September 13, while you were the CEO, right? And you're going to tell me that there's not a culture of something wrong at Wells Fargo? When you are the head, you get credit. You get credit as CEO when you bring in all this money because that's how you get your bonuses. Is that not correct? You get a bonus from your board because X amount of dollars come in. But yet, are you telling me that you don't have the responsibility of losing your position when you have a culture of being fine and costing the bank year after year, month after month, there's no responsibility. You can just stay to be the chairman and the CEO. Is that what you want us to believe? It's kind of like your president, Congressman Meeks. No I responsibility. The pleasure of the board. I'm willing. I've told then you. Then the whole board needs to go. If they're going to allow someone to be in charge when time after time, you just talked about you fired 5,300 employees. When you found out that they were doing something wrong, they were fired. Correct. Because they were doing something wrong. Well, something is going wrong at this bank, and you are the head of it. So shouldn't the board then turn from your own admission? If the buck stops with you, as you came out here and said, I apologize, the buck stopped with me, and you have to also admit that criminal activity That's was enough. going on in your... That's enough. Do we have anybody? Do we have any of the Republicans? Because, you know, someone at 603 says, I'm actually amazed that you were against the big banks. I thought the Republican Party is all about ripping off the little guy. Have you been listening to what I've been saying, 603? This is a Democrat bank. It's owned. The biggest stockholder is Warren Buffett, a moonbat's moonbat. The, uh, the Carly Tolstat, who was the street boss of this racket, who's walking away with $77 million, she's a Hillary Clinton contributor. Wells Fargo employees, they, uh, if, you, if you look on the uh, FEC uh, website, Federal Elections Commission, they have donated $257,000 to Hillary Clinton. They have donated zero, zero to Donald Trump. This is a Democrat scam. All the big scams are Democrats. Do you understand that? That's what this is all about. They don't want to listen to this. Uh, let's see here. Bob, you're next with Howie Carr. Go ahead, Bob. Hi, good afternoon, Howie. How Hi. are you doing? Good. Uh, you know, since 2008, my youngest sister has been having fun with Wells Fargo. They've been holding her mortgage since, well, probably before 2008. But every year since, oh, I'd say 2009, she's had refinance issues. And not to say she's great with money, but they've been giving her a hard time ever since. Yeah. So, I mean, this doesn't surprise me. I actually sent off an email to her to let her know. I said, are you aware of what's going on with your mortgage holder? So I, yeah. I just wanted her to be aware of what's going on in case she isn't. Yeah, the the worm is turning now, Bob. I think anybody who uh, has a problem yep. with Wells Fargo just ought to go in there and uh, just uh, throw their throw their weight around for once. You know, they're not going to they're not going to exactly. push back anymore now. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I wouldn't think so. Howie. I mean, I'm just amazed that I mean, she's even decided to refinance three times through the same company. It, it's amazing how yeah. much trouble she's had with them. Yeah. 
Well, every uh, apparently everybody's had trouble with them. I'm I'm surprised. I, that they only held my mortgage for a couple of years, and they bu- they bought it from somebody, and then they sold it to somebody else. But uh, I'm uh, I'm surprised that uh, that that uh, that I didn't have any problems. Hey, listen, thank you for the call, Bob. One eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. We'll take a we'll take a break, and we'll be right back with your calls on uh, Wells Fargo and the giant ripoffs. We'll look for some more sound cuts to uh, to play from uh, Congress. Usually this is just sort of this uh, this uh, breast beating. I don't really appreciate it that much, but I think in this case I, I'm enjoy I'm kind of enjoying it, except for when Elizabeth Warren is doing it. I'm Howie Carr. He didn't come here to be made sport of. Howie Carr. 